Hi everyone, Proxima Dust with a quick tutorial showing you how to convert your AMM presets into the kind of new archive format. Um, if any of you are wondering, the benefit of that largely is that you don't have to activate the preset in game using in like an AMM slot. So it's a bit simpler, it's a bit more immersive. Um, and there's a few other benefits, like I found that the performance for uh, FPS is a little bit better using archive versions, stuff like that. Um, so to jump into it, we've got uh, just a, a quick list here of the steps so you can kind of come back to this part if you need to to refer to them. They're not very detailed, but hopefully they will help you out if you're a little bit lost. Um, but the first thing here is basically installing the mods you need to carry out this process. So the big one is woven kit. Um, this is what you're going to use to actually pack and turn it into an archive file. And the other one is Ent Spawner. Um, and so it's also called Object Spawner in game. It might be a little bit confusing for now. Uh, the mod author is still working on it. And so it doesn't kind of have like a final name yet. Um, but for the download purposes, when you're searching for it on GitHub, um, you're looking for the Ent Spawner. And once you kind of get to the page, um, just go to the newest release. You might have to open up this assets part here, and then you can just grab the zip file. Um, similarly for Wolven Kit, you could get it from the Red Mod page as well, but if you come to GitHub, um, you just want to click on wherever release is and then scroll down and you've got your Wolven Kit uh, .zip here. So for Wolven Kit, you can basically just install it to your desktop. Um, you don't want to put it in the Cyberbunk folder itself. It's just, you know, wherever you're comfortable having it to refer to. And for the end spawner install, you actually do need to install it to your Cyberpunk directory. Um, so kind of like a standard, um, you know, I'm just going to uh, right click on the game, go to manage, browse local files is kind of a quick way to get in. Um, and so this is just the cyberpunk directory. So once you get end spawner, you just unpack it and drop the archive and bin folders into here. Um, they should merge seamlessly and there should be no problem. There's one file that ends up in the mod folder. Um, it's this base entity archive, I think. And then the other one is going to uh, go in down the bin path. And so you're going to need to access that. So you're going to want to go bin x64 plugins, Cyber Engine Tweaks, Mods, and then Ent Spawner should be here. Um, so we can open that up. Uh, so once you've got these installed and you've kind of got the folder open, you're good to go. We'll just jump in game. And in order to open Ent Spawner, you're going to want to click the same key you use to open CET. Uh, that's Cyber Engine Tweaks. Um, so it should come up. This might be collapsed, so just open it up. Um, again, here it's called Object Spawner in game. Can keep in mind, same thing. It's, it's still Ent Spawner. And so basically what you're going to do is go to the saved tab and um, back here in the end spawner folder, you're going to want to go into data and then AMM import. Uh, and then you'll have an AMM JSON file. So this is like the primary file you use in, in AMM, uh, AMM for the build that you might share with others or whatever. Um, and so you're just going to want to paste it in. So I've already got one here. And once you're in game, you would just click the AMM, uh, import AMM presets button. And as long as there's like a file in that folder, it'll process it. So once you click the button, you'll see like a little kind of uh, bar show up and it'll load. Um, it might take a bit of time, a minute, a couple of minutes. It may also crash. Uh, that's been re reduced. The, the mod author has improved that. Um, so it doesn't seem like it's really crashing anymore. But if you do experience a crash, it's not a big deal. Just reload the game, click AMM um, preset import again, and it should basically just complete it. And you'll know it's done when the bar fills um, and it kind of pops down here. So these are a bunch that I've either, you know, um, already converted from AMM or that, you know, are new ones like NeoZen that I'm working on right now. Uh, so for the purposes of this tutorial, we're basically just going to go with um, NC Orbital Apartment River. And so again, once you've imported it, it should show up in the list. You click on it to expand. And then if you click load, it'll bring all the props into the world, but we don't want to do that. We just want to add to export. So I click that button and then I'm going to come over to the export tab here and you can see it's shown up um, from my clicking that button. And there's a few different settings here. I'm not really going to get into detail. For the most part, I think the vast majority of you can ignore these and you're really just going to convert it as is. 
The only one I found that's relevant is streaming box extents. That's if you have objects that are really distant um, from where the player is anticipated to be. Um, and so that's kind of a whole other thing um, that's not relevant unless you're using object spawner to kind of build on it after. And that's a whole separate tutorial. So I'll touch on that later. Um, for now, all you really need to know is it's shown up here. So it's kind of worked bringing it over. You're going to want to name it. So NC orbital um, river, let's say. So it doesn't have to be an exact match for this name, but you want it to be something that's at least kind of suggesting it. And do like 100% make sure you add this name here, because if you don't, it's going to default it to new project and that's going to cause problems. And then we click the export button. So it's not really going to give a noticeable indicator here. But if we minimize and we leave um, the MM import folder, we're going to go back and then back again. So we're still in end spawner, uh, but now we want to open the export folder. And this was an old one. Uh, just ignore that. You should just have the one. So I can see it's the same name I, I gave it with um, exported kind of tacked on to the end. So at this point, we do really don't need uh, Cyberpunk anymore. We've exported it successfully. We can basically leave the game. And what you want to do now, a bit of a crash on the way out, uh, is go to your Wolven Kit folder. So again, I just installed mine to desktop. Uh, open up the folder. You're going to see a whole bunch of files. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and just double click the exe. And now this is just going to take a second to load up. Uh, first time Wolven Kit might take a little bit longer. Um, you probably won't get this, so you can just ignore this stuff. And effectively, you won't see all these icons. These are all projects that I've worked on in the past. So what you're going to want to do is create a new project. So I'm going to give it exactly the same name. Oops, wait a minute, that was another one. NC Orbital River. Um, just to make sure there's no issues around that, I'm going to add my author name. Make sure that the creation location is where you want it to be. So um, it doesn't need to be like in the Wolven Kit folder. You don't want it in the Cyberpunk installation. Um, like the Wolven Kit folder, I just basically added it to my desktop. I created a folder there called Wolven Kit Projects or WK Projects. Um, and so that's where I want to drop this new one into that projects folder. So I've selected that one. Um, no need for email or anything. Create. And there we go. Um, so now from my desktop, if I were to go to my Wolven Kits project, so there's my Wolven Kit folder. If I go to the project one here, um, I can see NC Orbital River. So it successfully created that uh, folder. So I want to open it now. I want to go to source and then raw. And now I need the exported file that I created, um, which is right here. So this is the one from the end spawner folder um, that was in the export folder. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it right into this raw folder. And you can see it immediately shows up in the raw folder inside the actual project, which is good. If you're not seeing it show up here, you're probably not dropping it into the actual like project place or you're not in the raw folder. Uh, so that's two places to look at. So the next step is to click Tools. And we're going to Script Manager, third one down. And we're going to go to the last option. So Import Object Spawner. And you're going to want to double click this. Single click won't do anything. We want to say yes to local copy created. And we want to say yes to overwriting the previous copy. And so the only thing we have to do here really is just update the name to again reflect this exact name. So I'm going to delete the new project part and I'm going to write NC Orbital River. And then the underscore exported is already there. So that's great. And I'm going to save the project. And then I'm going to click the Run button, this little white one here that's easy to miss. And there's no red text here, so we, we don't see any problems, which is great. Import finished. And you can see what it's done um, is it's actually created two streaming files. So this is kind of governing how the props are going to show up in the world. And then it's created this Excel file. Um, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is, some, some sort of data holder or whatever, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is that you've got, you know, make sure under archive that you've got these two streaming folders that, you know, the, the name for this one is largely kind of, um, it's not going to match the exported name, it's going to match the imported name of the, the preset I used, but just make sure it's something that seems, you know, like it's what it should be. 
Um, and then down here, you know, it's it's mirroring it. It's just not adding the underscore exported part. So once again, just make sure that all these names are kind of in sync to a degree. And that's pretty much it. So from here we go to build, install, uh, and I'm just going to quickly jump back to my cyberpunk directory because I might have an older one. Uh, no, okay. So uh, build, install. Once again, no red text. Everything's worked out fine. And then you go to your mod folder. So from cyberpunk, you would go to archive, PC, mod, and scroll to the bottom. And uh, there it is. So NC Orbital. So this was an older one. Um, so what it's created is NC Orbital River. So again, matching the same name here, the .archive file, and then the .xl file going with it. Um, so now when I load up the game, which I won't bore you with because the loading takes several minutes, um, but when I load up the game, it would automatically spawn all the props from this preset into the world. No need to open AMM. Um, completely immersive, basically. You don't really have to interact with CET or anything at all. Um, now, if you wanted to share this with, like, say, the community, um, it's pretty straightforward. You would just, you know, uh, select the two ones and then go to compress, turn it into a zip file. You can rename it if you want. And then you go to Nexus, you know, assuming you have uh, an account, create an account if not, and upload new mod. And then everything from there you probably already know or can figure out. It's pretty straightforward. The main thing is that you've just got the zip file and that you've got both the .xl and the .archive. Both of those are super uh, important. So that covers everything. Um, have fun. And like I mentioned, I think before, I'm going to be creating a new tutorial that is going to actually show you how to build with uh, Object Spawner uh, slash end spawner. Hopefully it'll have a new name soon um, when it probably when it gets released, which the author is still working on it and doing an amazing job with that. Um, but yeah, it's a great tool set. It has a lot of advantages. Uh, probably the number one, arguably, being that it has access to the entire database of props in the game, um, which is just fantastic. You don't have to convert or anything like that. It can basically access every prop. And then using another tool set, you can actually just run around the world and find whatever you want and immediately know the name of it and therefore technically unlock it and use it. So there's just way more props, but there's also more flexibility and usage potential um, with the mod. So yeah, hopefully that'll come probably in the next few weeks or something like that. But for now, hopefully this helps you with converting presets. Uh, if you did not want to you know, import an AMM one and you're kind of already playing with Object Spawner, it's really the same process. You would just skip this step and then you know go from here. So that's it. Have fun, everyone.